morning. I have my little cherub with me this morning on Monday the 21st of October. And we are sitting outside the Royal Glamorgan Hospital waiting to go in and have a discussion about Dexter's legs and see where we're going to go next. Where do you want to go next with your legs? I don't know. Two ways. Straighten them. That's what we want to try and do, isn't yeah. it? Either straighten them mm. or get them straighter than they are. Straighter than they are would be good, wouldn't it? Mm. I mean, they're not terrible, his legs, and they work. There's people mm. in worse situations, but... If we can improve them, then it would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Do they stop you doing anything? Not really, but they do. Running's a bit... Um, I think they hurt. Like, they hurt You think than, they hurt? Well, like, I think once I have them, like, I want to have, like... Because, like, every single time I just have, like, a bad um, leg. Which one more than the other? Like both of them, or one. I wonder if you've um, got one leg longer than the other, like Mackenzie had. Yeah. I'll probably X-ray you and see. I didn't make you very well, did I? Let's go then. It'll be a little bit early. Yeah. How long? How? We left early to make sure we weren't late for our appointment. And hopefully I've registered um, Dexter properly for school, being late, because his school are very anal and they seem to threaten you with any little thing. It's like, oh. But I've emailed admissions, which is attendance, not admissions which I believe is the right thing. Don't let them take the letter. They, you can take that into school with you then. Okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, God. And dinner today is going to contain sausages. So whether I redo that sausage, mustard and potato thing we had the other night because that was absolutely delicious. Did you like that? Or not really? Oh, no, that must honey and mustard potato thing I did. No. With sausages on top. No. Yeah, you do. Dexter. Well. I hope I don't remember. It was that memorable, remember. was it? I don't even remember. Oh, well, we had it. Do you know, I think I might make, make that so much, again. You make so much, I forget what you make. I make so much. Yeah. Delicious things. Well, like a variety. Do you think I'm a good cook? It's good to have variety, though. You don't want to eat the same boring yes, thing is, all the time. Yes, yes, you are a good cook, but you're not, like... I'm not the, Michelin you, star. You're not, like, the best. How dare you say I'm not the best? There is better chefs out there. Well, I'm not a chef, am I? I love Gordon Ramsay. I'm a mother. I love Gordon Well, you Ramsay. can't compare me to Gordon Ramsay, can you? Because he's a, like a top chef. I'm just Kaza, mm, Kaza cooking Kaza. Cook with cook with Kaza, new channel. Wait, have you started up a new channel? <laughs> no, I haven't. I can just about sort this one out. That'd be a good name, though, wouldn't it? Cook with Kaza. We can have some cook with Kazas though on my channel. I couldn't be doing two channels. One's enough. Cook with Kaza. Shall we do a cook with Kaz? You can do a cook with Kaz and Dex next week when you're off. What would you like to make? Uh, some gingerbread men. No. Do you know what? I could make some gingerbread men later. I was just having the time. I've got a gingerbread packet mix in the cupboard. You can uh, just. I think you just add water, maybe, or something. Can we make coronation chicken? Yeah. Without the raisins. No, that's, that's... I'll tell you what we could do when you're off. You can make coronation chicken 
And then we'll have it in a jacket potato. I like the raisins though. You have to pick out your raisins then. I don't like my raisins. You can't have coronation chicken without the raisins or I sultanas. Feel like, I feel like they ruined the I'm getting hungry now talking about food. Right, let's go. Shall we go? Yeah. I need my crutch out of the boot. So I've got to walk all in there. Mum, I put my um I put three pounds in my saving tin and I forgot I didn't want to do it because I I forgot I wanted to go If you put the three pound in the one tin you can't get it back out of. Yeah. Well, I'm not opening the tin. No, but can you can you Oh well, can I give you three pounds now because you've no, put it in there? Like two pound. For what? Because um I want to use uh, machines. What machine? Uh, the um Random machines. No. Why? Come on. I just want to drink them. I'll stop at the shop on the way back to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get out my bag. Right, we're going in now and... Should I take my bag? Or should I just take the letter? No, just take the letter. We're going in and we'll update you when we're out. This is where it is. So it's back there, back there. Right, um, okay. Secret compartment in his bag, apparently. It's not secret, it's just secure. Right. Bye, guys. They've taken him away. Fortunately, walk. We're out of the appointment, physio referral, moulds to have inner soles for his shoes, his leg length doesn't seem too bad, but he is on the same hymn sheet as me with regards to straightening his legs. So we're waiting for a referral from Miss Tong and she will see about Possibly doing that. And yeah, I've got to go back in about a month, he said it'll be. But I've got to get two pairs of shoes right before Christmas. Like proper decent ones with firm sides, like Clark's ones. And AstroTurf trainer type things that he's got to have as well, which are firmer. So back to school for you. Got to go and get some cash out of the cash machine. You can go in the post office while I'm at the cash point. And if I give you money, we give it to Jackson. Oh, I'm quite hungry. It's 20 to 10. I'm gonna go and sort my mother out and take her out, go for lunch, then come back and do some bits. Right, so first appointment over with, and we just gotta wait for the next. So, yeah, I'll catch up with you probably when I'm with my mum going where I don't know. I said I'd take her somewhere new for food, but it's where? No one else, we'll just end up in Tesco's. I've got an idea. I thought that man had no trousers on then. Um, <laughs> it's a man about, walking, he's got cream colored shorts on. Mom, what about you take her to, um, what do you call it, that, um, that, you know, like, one of the cafes on the front of the beach, a rocky beach that we went to? I ain't taking grandma to the beach today. It's dull weather and to be honest, um, as mean as it sounds, I bet things do go to the bloody beach. Well, you know that one million yardies? I'll tell you what we can do on the week off when you're off. We'll try and fly that drone. Because I tried to fly it outside the house and I crashed it. Wait, did you crash? Well, I crashed it and the blade flew off. But daddy put it back on. I need some flying lessons. We can go to a field somewhere. 
Well, you've got to be careful where you fly because you need a license to fly at some places. Well, they went to fly outside. Outside you crash the front. Why did you crash here? It crashed into the hedge and the blade flew off. <laughs> Get some hedge trimmers on there and trim the edges. Mm -hmm. But, um, need lessons. So we could go and um, do that. That's to be something to do, wouldn't it? Mm. Shall we still get a magnet to do the magnet fishing? She's mad. She's very, um, what do you call it? Expressive. Yeah. The lady walking down the road, she's on the phone, but her arms are going everywhere. Oh. She looks very angry. She's going, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Fly the drone to make sure it's charged up. Well, as Empire had a good drone the other day, he bought. It, um, it flew itself. Well, you go to Penavan and... Um... Go to Penavan? You're having a laugh, aren't you? No, go to Penavan. That's go... like a mountain. Do you think I can climb a mountain? No, go to Penavan um, and fly the drone up Penavan. Yeah, well, that's all well and good, but I won't be going up Penavan. No, but just see what's on top. I know what's on top. What? A little statue thing that says Penavan on it and people have their picture taken. Like this, standing at the top. Do you know, even if I get my knees done, yeah, I would you. never do pen a van. Is it too hard? Where are you going? Can Can you have money? That's all you ever say to me. Can I have money? I've run out of money. You know, money's, money I'm can poor. be made again and again and again, but time will never be made again. Oh shit. I'm poor Dex, so I can't afford any money. What if you poor? How can you afford? What do you want it? How can you afford most things that you buy? Because I'm. Still got all that eBay stuff in the garage. And in the back. Stuff. You're like a hoarder. <laughs> hoarder, I am a hoarder. You've got so much you know, you've got stuff that you are going to sell. Yes, I know. I have got stuff. That's something you could do when you're off. Help me photograph it all and stick it on. I'll give you a commission. Or 50p. 50p. Huh? 10p for everything I list. Yeah, that's fine, Timpy. One pound. No. Two pound. Right, we're going now because it's getting busier. Get out of my purse. Yeah, we're going in there. Right. I'm going to go and get some um... money. It's all about the money, money, money. Yeah, I have your car. Because <laughs> I just want to spend lots of money. Right, I'll catch up with you later. Just back in the car, picked up these in the post office. After dinner, festive sprout mints help freshen the breath and reduce flatulence. Made in the good old Blighty for Christmas since 1921. Got one. I've just took them all out and counted them. There's 37 in there and they weigh well, I just found one of them. nearly five grams. I'm counting five grams, so they work out 20 calories a mint. They're just mints in a fancy tin. They're not sprout shaped. They don't have a hint of sprout in them. They're just mints. Do you want a mint? Hmm? No. Put them in there. No, I can't put that in there because there's other stuff in there. Bub empty bubble gum there. You can do a bin one for me. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
empty. Bubble gum stopping it going down. It's empty. Right, he's off to school and I'm off to my mother's. So I've got my mother. We're just at the chemist sorting out her tablets. I think I've sorted them. She said that you have to order them on the paper one first before it gets added to the app or something. I've done it anyway. All right, Mum. Happy to be alive today and with your lovely Wait, daughter. I know there's somebody coming. Because I'm driving and I can see. I don't know what she was up to there. Oh, big pothole. they got different coloured bins up here to us. Uh, I saw got the, yellow ones the, uh, bins like but um, hmm? a sticker over it. You want a sticker over your bin? Well, you've got one. No, I haven't got one. But I, I can, I can see a faded thing there. But anybody coming up? Well, in there. Home Bargains, they sell the stickers that you put on bins and numbers. We just buy you a number. You have to buy two numbers though, because you've got um, a double-digit number. We're on Eco Drive now because well, uh, maybe question about twenty-one or whatever. Don't wanna. Yes, even though you don't live at twenty-one, street, we won't put street numbers. All you need is the number of the house on there. But don't stress over your bin. No one's going to nick your food bin. Hopefully, we live in a respectable area. You know. There's only otters that are thieves in our estate. You're probably thinking, what's she on about? I'm sure I did, I'm sure I mentioned it, but if I didn't, I've been going around with her too long, I can't remember what I've said and what else. Um, this lady on Facebook on our estate has got the most beautiful tank in our garden. I'll put a picture of it up right there so you can see her tank. It's absolutely amazing. But anyway, she got a security camera on it and she came out the other morning or the night, whatever, and every single fish had been eaten and gone. So she obviously checked her security cameras and there's a flipping otter, an otter on our housing estate and it you could see it nicking the fish. Huge fish, she had a right feast. I'm sure I mentioned that, but if I didn't, then it's a new story for you. Um, but yeah, cheeky biter. I know we've got streams and stuff at the back of our houses, but well, I have my mum hasn't, but um, we had a good old feed up, he did. Do you remember me telling you that an otter had eaten somebody's fish? An otter, you know an otter, the animal, an otter. Oh. It had gone into someone's garden that's got these fancy fish in the tank and took them all and ate them. Ugh. Filled his belly or her belly. I know it's the circle of life and all that balls, but you'd be a bit pissed off, wouldn't you, if you paid all that money for those fish and some cheeky otter came along and ate them all. said to her though, yeah, what I, can you, what Alice, can you do? Uh, Alison was sort of saying, oh, ooh, ooh. Charlie had a flu jab a month, uh, three weeks ago and she's had it living else. So I don't know if... What, you're jealous yeah. that you've had flu jabs and you haven't? No, I'm Do you just, want a flu jab? I'm just saying. It's, ti it's time to start thinking about getting your... You're going for a prick on Wednesday. In your arm. I'm talking about you. I don't want a 
flu jab and built like an ox. No one will um, oh, knock me out. You're in. The only you pricks I want are not in my house. Oh, huh? has a flu jab. He's had his, but. He's had them already. He had it through work. injection vaccine on Wednesday and then we're going to drop some stuff off at the charity shop and I'm meeting um, Master of Pieces at the charity shop because I have something for him that I no longer acquire but he would like so I'm arranging to meet him for a quickie not for a quickie <laughs> just a quick handover that's all as he I think he lives near there so that's something for him um, and Thursday oh, there's something else on on Thursday oh meeting Sharon you coming out for lunch ladies at lunch on Thursday we're meeting Sharon mum remember Sharon Remember Sharon? Oh, Sharon. Yeah. We're meeting her on Thursday for lunch. We're going to a very exclusive place, Tesco's. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Sharon said Tesco. Somewhere cheap and cheerful. We don't want to be spending a bomb on lunch, do we? Go for a natter, catch up on all the gossip. Oh, and then home again. And then Friday I'm staying in, I think. I'm thirsty. Early retirement. Um, no, she retired when she was supposed to. She didn't retire early. Um, so say something then. What do you want for your lunch? You can just get a sandwich in the shop or that if you want. Eat it in the car, or do you want to go somewhere? I'm not hungry. Oh well, if you're not hungry, don't bother. I'll skip lunch. I ain't had breakfast, but I'll skip lunch. I'll grab a sandwich or something. I need to. Uh, I've had a drink problem. I need to be good. So I was a bit naughty yesterday. Did you like that cheesecake you had? T tea cake? Fucking hell, Mum. Cheesecake! Cheesecake! I sent it down last night, Dexter, for your tea. You had macaroni and <coughs> cheesecake. Well, the um, past... Um, macaroni? Yeah. Was that nice? It wasn't. Go on. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Slag it off. Yeah, the, uh, the other, um, the, the first macaroni you gave me was the nicest. Right. Well, yeah. you've got shit taste buds, haven't you? Because the first macaroni I gave you 
was Tesco's Cheapo brand, their farmer's market or whatever they call it. And then the other two macaronis you've had have been Tesco's own, the slightly better make. So you've got you've got cheap taste buds then. You like the cheaper one. I'll have to remember that and get you the cheaper one. Suits me. Have they they haven't finished yet, have they what they're doing here? Yes. Didn't you notice the lights working down there? No. No. Did you like the cheesecake? That you had after the pasta. Yeah. I noticed it had all gone. The kids have had it. But I'm thankful of that. And I had some bread pudding on the side that kept winking at me, so I did a terrible thing and I threw it in the food bin. Otherwise, I'd have eaten it. I did offer you some, but you said, oh, I don't know if I want it. Oh, dear. Trees over there. What? So, it's a wonder they don't take the tops off the, these trees. I know, they're tall, aren't they? They're so tall. We need to get the tops taken off our trees in the garden. They're massive. i got to get permission. Permission to cut them. Because there's a couple of them that are protected, I think. that's backing onto a stream again is a pain in the ass. Or a house where there's loads of trees at the back of it because all we end up with is a garden full of leaves. Oh God. Oh, I was feeling generous this morning and I've ordered more on a ninja. Um, a ninja. basically a drinks bottle anyway. I've ordered him one of them. I've ordered him a large one. You could get 500 and 30 mil or 700 mils. I've ordered 700 mil. It says it keeps fizzy drinks. Not that we're drinking fizzy drinks. It keeps fizzy drinks fizzy all day. But I've bought it for him to put his um, smoothie stuff in that he's having at the moment. Do a legal manoeuvre here, undertaking because it's doing missing slow. Oh, they look like they're about 190 driving that car. Do you know what? If there was police behind them now, they'd get pulled over. They're literally doing about 20 mile an hour on the motorway. Honestly. in a queue now. What are you after in home bargains then? Apart from coffee. Just a browse, is it? Huh? What do you want in home bargains? in its new house. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't it make your house smell? No. Hawk 
just doesn't smell. Very clean little thing she is. Your room's not that big, isn't it? You're liable to trip over. Mum, it's not walking around at the moment on the floor. It's in a little um, thing on the unit. Well, say little. It's not little. It's massive. It takes up the top of the unit, practically. I won't let her roam around until she's quite big. It's... Uh... time. I talk to her. <laughs> you speak to her? Do you, does it speak back to you? Yes, yeah, she does. She winks at me. Let's me know she's all right. If I open her door and tap it, she comes over and I stroke her little head, her little scaly head. And she eats out my hand. I have her eating out my hand, just like Warren does. Eats out my hand. Not literally. I have a power a spell over him. You can come down and hold her, Mum. You can come down and hold her. I haven't held the guinea pigs for a while. My mother's scared of rodents, aren't you? You don't like mice, you're scared of them. And she thinks they're like mice. Wasn't there a mouse under the stairs when we used to live in Orpin Road? I remember you screaming and you put a mouse trap in there. It was a little mouse. I think it had eaten through something, hadn't it? A bag of food or something you'd had under the stairs. How do you know how old it is? How old it is? What, the fucking mouse that used to be under your stairs? No. no. Tortoise. Because no. yeah. I had a birth certificate thingy with it. It's nearly one. You wanted me to know how old your freaking mouse was you had in the cupboard. It wouldn't be alive now because that was about 40 years ago. Do you remember when Dad chased me around the garden with a piece of cotton and said it was a spider and I was going round and round the fish pond in my flipping underwear because I was scared and then he made me petrified of spiders. That's why I don't like spiders. Do you remember? I was screaming like bloody holy hell. Ah, help me! And you were laughing, I think. And all it was, was a thread and a, like a knot thing of cotton. That's how you used to traumatize me, a pair of you. traumatise my kids. Do you wish you'd had a boy when you had children? Or are you glad you had girls? Huh? No. No what? I'm not, I'm not fussy. You weren't fussy? I remember finding um, a book you'd got boys' names written in it. And I think if I'd been a boy, you, you were gonna call me Peter, or something like that. Peter? Yeah. There was Peter and Paul written in this baby name book. So, you, um, Obviously, I'd have been a uh, Pete or Paul. I'd have been a boy. I would 
would have liked to have had a girl. It's not the same to having three boys. Can't go on girly shopping trips. Although Dexter's my little um, sidekick. He comes everywhere with me. Kenzie's too old now and does his own thing. Jackson can't cope with the um, with people outside the house. He can't. He doesn't. He doesn't do shopping. He told me. But Dexter, he loves it, so he he comes. I get old and make old bones and go a bit senile I know Dexter will be the one there that helps me out the other two will leave me to rot I'm thirsty as hell I am there's Costa Coffee down here Costa Coffee? Any, anybody there? Is anybody there? Huh? You want to go to Costa Coffee? Costa Coffee, that's a new one. Costa. No, I'm saying, do you want to go? Because there's one down by where we're going. I wouldn't mind a drink, I'm thirsty. I'll just pick up a drink and I'm bargaining, it's a bit cheaper. By Costco, I want to get some more avocado oil, but I can't face going around there and all. Do that another day. Where's he going? What? I said, Where's this one going? Left, maybe? Off at the wrong turning. Oh, 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 oh. I need to do the next turning. This is Leckworth. We want the bay. I need to get back on the old dual carriageway. I always do that. Come off at the wrong one. Now, we need to work out where we're going. Da, da, da. Back on here. That's where all the car garages are up there. Oh yeah. No, they nearly had a crash, they did. Yeah. They nearly had a crash. There's a little red car gone across the lanes. Oh. Nearly hit the car. They wouldn't be beeping at me, obviously. I'm a good driver. I want to tell you different. We're on the right road now. Cedar Tree Farm. Did you like it in there? No, you didn't. All right, we're not going there then. Burger King. Burger King? What's Bar Bar? Oh. Bar Bar Black Sheep. Have you any fucking wool? Burger King. I'm trying to look at the light. My phone's blocking the traffic light. 
Burger King. No, you don't want a burger. There's um, a boots down here we could go look in. And see if they've got any of them um, face things that you want. Speed bump. Well, there's the boots over there. They do nice shape of sandwiches and that. Pets at home. Tin of dog food. You can have a flu jab done in boots. Book it, we've got to pay for it. Uh, yeah. Right, we're going because we're going to find space and then we're going into home bargains. <sighs> so guys, we've ended up in Asda's cafe. And it's, not, it's quite late now, so everything's like finished. It was bugger all to eat. My mother's got that lovely panini you would have just seen. And I didn't want to use calories on the panini. So, obviously I'm not drinking coke at the moment. This is the only thing I could have, it's 11 calories. I was dying to get a coke, to be honest. And the lowest calorie thing they had was them shitty things. 38 calories for one and there was three in there and I've eaten three. Um, but I want to save my calories for my dinner because I bought instant mashed potato, which is a lazy ass thing to do, right? But I'm not, I've said it before ages ago if you haven't tried frozen mashed potato, you need to go down the shop right now and buy it. I was like, someone said to me, I think on here. Oh, you've got to try frozen mash, it's a rush. And I was like, frozen mash, for God's sake. Minging. Oh my God. It's buttery, it's creamy. It's absolutely freaking stonking. But I do have to count it because obviously it's got butter and flour and bits like that in it probably. So my baked beans will be zero count, but my potatoes and my sausages I'll only have two sausages, but I'll have to count them. So I want the calories for that. Yeah, we're in Asda. Mum's just having her lunch. We're gonna have a quick look round and then go home because the kids will probably be home before me. So I shall catch up with you when I'm back in the house. And I just spotted a hot chocolate um, velvetizer effort type thing. I might get it on the way back down. I might. So we're back in the car. My mother's chowing down on um, bar of chocolate, trying to fatten her up a bit. Is that nice? Yeah. What is it? Caramel milk. She's, yeah, she just offered me some, but I said no. Um, that Ribena I had in the cafe, I thought, I'll just give it a scan on the old yucca. Don't know what I'm talking about. It's an app that I found through watching Butler's Empire that tells you if your food's good or bad or ugly, you know, and your cosmetics. But anyway, I thought I'll scan the Ribena. It had this. And it had this hazardous um, things in it. I just as well have drunk the bloody coke. I didn't enjoy it either. I was like, oh, should I just get a coke? Because I haven't totally banned coke. I've just given up drinking it 24 seven, you know? But yeah, so we 
even my bean is shit. Everything you eat is shit. Now my mother had an appetizer, right? And I thought, oh, she drunk it. I thought, oh, I'll just scan that. And that came up green, it was good. However, the Ribena was 11 calories, the appetizer was 129. So it's like, do you go for the calories or do you go for it being better? But to, for me to use 129 calories on a drink is a bit like, nah, I'm not doing that. Did you like the appetizer drink? Are you adding Asda? Yeah, that, that's been about for years. Yeah, no, you can buy it in cans. But, um, yeah, so just goes to show you, think, right, I'll have the Ribena because Coke's really bad for you. So I'll have a Ribena and it's just as bloody bad. Are you glad I've stopped drinking Coke? Are you glad I've stopped drinking Coke? Yeah. Because you're always telling me, I'll oh, stop drinking it, Karen. It won't do you any good. Well, you might have done damage. Probably have. Already. My coffin's waiting for me one day. Death by Diet Coke. And it'll say on my gravestone, she did like a glass of Coke, Kaza. Oh, look at that, Mum. Brand new Porsche Jeep thing. Cayenne, is that what you call it? Oh, I'm getting car envy. I need to change this car now. I'm bored of it. You better watch it on old crash shop. Alright, we're running out of miles here, so you better watch you're not walking home. I said I'm getting car MV. Need to change this car. I've had it three years. I don't usually keep them that long. Mm -hmm. Just taking out the garage for a spin round. What? Just taking out the garage for a spin round. What, that Porsche? Might be. Let's see how fast it's all going. Hmm? Sarah that I took up to um, near Manchester to get that Porsche. She hasn't got it anymore. She got rid of it. Mm -hmm. I quite like the new Astra. There's a new electric Astra out. But Warren wants to get the um, MG. So we'll probably end up getting that. Chocolate in there with milk, and it says you can make cold 
off. I was wearing a blouse that I wore before I lost three stone and it was very open and mum kept saying, your boobs are hanging out. So, um, yeah. But, you can't really see this. No. Is it too early to wear a Christmas jumper? My mother said yes, and I said sort it. I'm putting it on because it's quite big, so by Christmas it might be too big. Right, I went to Home Bargains and Asda. I didn't get loads, but I'll show you what I picked up. We'll do Home Bargains first. I bought two bags of mashed potato, and I've got my hair stuck to the bottom of it now. Two bags of mashed potato. Now, this has been in the car and it's totally... Actually, it's still a little bit firm, but I was going to leave them out and just use the other rest, put it in the fridge and use the rest of the kids tomorrow. But this is just heaven. This is the best mashed potato ever. The supermarket own ones, brands, um, are okay, but Aunt Bessie's one... Honestly, and you think you lazy ass Kaza buying frozen bloody mashed potato. And when people have said to me about getting mashed potato, I'm sure the person that suggested it to me is now watching saying, It was me, it was me. But friggin' Nora, there is just something about it. You don't get one lump, it's you put it in the microwave, and honestly, tea tonight is gonna be quick, and I've got I've got my glasses stuck in my hair. Now I've got hair. Oh, Jesus, God. Right. It is 143 calories for 18 cubes. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cook it and then weigh mine on the scales and work it out like that. I'm not doing a separate pot with 18 cubes in or whatever. And I've got over 800 calories left, so I can have a nice big blob of mash. I picked up these and I went back out to the car and um, one of the kids is taking a bag and buggered off with them. 139 calories a bag. They're frisks. My mother's favourite crispies are and she bought some so I was like, oh, I'll get some of them. Um, they are. It says on the front 139 calories. However, the cheese and onion are 141. The ready salted are 144. And 139 then for salt and vinegar. So that is based on the salt and vinegar. So I got them. I also got some Golden Wonder. These are 127 a bag. That's my Asda bag. What else did I get? Oh, I bought this... Um, vibrate not a vibrator it's a vibrate be bright brush right home and travel toothbrush it was the sprinkles that done it for me it was it takes a battery triple a don't know if i've even got a triple a but it's basically a sonic toothbrush and it was cheap as chips Yes, I went to Home Bargains. I had to get a garlic gold. What's going on, yeah? Um, freaking love this stuff. It scans on yucca as bad, but I'm going to eat some stuff that's bad, obviously. Um, 100 grams is 503 calories. Um, but I use like 10 to 20 on garlic bread, so it doesn't come up too bad. Kitchen foil. Needed kitchen foil, bought it. When I put it in the car, what was in the car? A roll of kitchen foil. I'll tell you, I don't know what's in the back of that car. Kids need pens for school. This is a spray inspired by... If I can get the lid off. Oh, can you smell that? That smells just like... The perfume. Alien. That's what it's supposed to smell like, alien. And to be fair, it does. So I got that. I got this to stick in the fridge. It makes six cookies. 
I know I can make my own cookie dough, but you know, this is really good because you don't have to use it all in one go. You can just cut a piece. If you really fancy a biscuit and you've got no control and you don't want to have a whole packet of biscuits in the cupboard because you'll eat the whole packet of biscuits like I will. Um, although I did really buy this for the kids, she says. You can just cut a piece off, stick it in your air fryer. If you haven't got an air fryer, enter the competition I'm going to be doing because you might win an air fryer. Um, but yeah, you can just cook one. Cut a piece off, weigh it. You'll know exactly how many calories it is. Chuck it in the air fryer and you're going to have a nice hot cookie. What are the calories on it, by the way? Let's have a look. Right, per 100 grams is 459. So I would literally cut a piece off, weigh it, cook it, and that's my cookie, if I have one. I picked up some of that. I like to have one of them in the fridge because not many places sell the 50% less fat one. And if I'm doing cooking or that and it needs double cream, then I've got one. This is 244 per 100 mils. Um, what else we got here? Oh, I bought some more of these. My faves, because they all went. These are 195 for one, but you get two pieces in one. So I got them. <gasps> some more specs. Because the ones I'm wearing are very, um, oh, I can't get that off. I need to pair of scissors. They're very grandma, the ones I've got on. These are a bit more, uh, you can get the gist. Oh, there. Yeah, a little bit better. It would be better if I found my bifocals, but to be fair, I haven't really looked again. Run to the bed they are. They've got trapped in a box or something. So I got them. I picked up this just in case we run out of milk. Then I thought I could have a bit of whitener. Coffee whitener, smooth and creamy, and it is 44 calories for eight grams. So I've got that, and it's got a really long date on it. And if I scanned it, it's probably full of shit, but I'm not scanning it. What else we got here? More pens. It's funny, isn't it, how both of the kids' their pencil cases have exploded. Nescafe for Warren. I don't drink that stuff. And it don't come with calories on it, but it's not very many. Picked up that because I know they're going to want tomato sauce with their bangers tonight. And we've run out. And then I went to Asda and got a cheap one as well. But this one is 15 calories for 15 grams. We have got some ibuprofen for Warren's aches and pains. Sellotape, check that behind there. Socks for Warren. Size six, they go all the way up to 11. He's got big feet, Warren. You know what they say about men with big feet, don't you? They've got big hearts, yes, big hearts. Hmm. And something else. Nice cafe. These are 36 calories for one, they're for in for work. Oh, I've got some more of these, right? I was cleaning out the tortoise cage that we put away and everything, right? They're multi-service antibacterial wipes. The smell on them is absolutely delightful. I would love my house to smell of these. You know, when you walk in, you can smell like clean washing and stuff. They smell like that. They smell absolutely lush. Have a seat, Mom. For Warren to take to work. And I picked up two of these. Start of Christmas shopping. They're for the boys, they are. They're, they're called handbags, right? They're a phone handbag, but the boys go up the shop, right? They'll go up the shop and they say they want to go and get a bar of chocolate or they'll go to the cinema and they don't have a wallet or a purse. And they're like, oh, I wish I had a bag that I could put across me, like a crossover bag with just a bit of money in on my phone. So I got these. I thought they'd be ideal. I'm going to leave them strapped up. It's obviously got a long strap. 
that unclips if they want to take the strap off for any reason. There's a pocket at the front so they can put a bit of change or that in there. And then there's a big pocket at the back. They can chuck their phone or whatever in. I don't know how much they were. Let me see it here. Um, there wasn't a price on the shelf. I don't know what I've done with the receipt. But they were only cheap, like $1.99, $2.99 or something like that. They weren't expensive. So they're both the same. They didn't have colour options or anything. They're just the same. So I got them for the boys. And then I got this. Last thing from Home Bargains. Save the best to last. Now, I'm not their biggest, oh, this shopping sound stick in my back, journaler, right? I like a book and now and again, and I did spend a ludicrous amount on princess planning and bought a book and everything and a folder and all the jazz that goes with it and I don't even use it. But I'm doing a Christmas giveaway, right? Just to say thank you to all you lovely people that watch me and make it worth doing YouTube, right? So let's hope one of you lovely people do win it. Um, so, so far in this bundle, there's an air fryer, yes, an air fryer. And I've just got this to go with it, but look, it is an organizer and pen set, and it includes a weekly schedule, a daily planner, a to-do list and notes. There was hardly any left on the shelf. The ones that were left, people had ragged them around, but I managed to get one good one had a pen missing on it so i nicked a pen out of the other ones and put it with this one but look at this I've, i actually love it and i'm thinking to myself shall i do some journaling just to get one of these but i think you'll be pleased with this especially starting the new year and grabbing the balls grabbing the balls no not grabbing the balls grabbing the what's that saying Grabbing the horn by the balls. That is not the saying, but you know what I'm trying to say. Grabbing the balls by the horns. Is that it? Oh, someone let me know. Ta-da! Look at that! Make it happen. It's quite big. It's I'm not good at measurements, but it's nearly as long as my forearm. I think that's lush. They didn't have any options, it was that or not. I know it's flowery, but a fella could use that, couldn't it? It's blue. But yeah, it says make it happen. That is like magnetic. See? And you open it up and it says, this is the best bit. Today is the day. That is, oh, that's to protect the... Um, binder things i'll leave that in there so it doesn't damage the rest but yeah it's got look weekly planner it says on there and i like the way it's set out you've got quite a hell of a bit of a bit a bit of a bit of a bit to write on hell of a girth on that that's dexter at the door now i'm gonna kill him right nuisance has just come in now creating anyway what was i saying yes the width, you can write a lot in there. So you could write your day's food in there, right? And all of these, look how many there are. There's a couple of weeks worth of writing down. And they're double-sided. So you can write on both sides. So you've got that. Then it goes on to Daily Planner, where you've got, you've got a to-do list, today's goals, important things and then notes and again there's a hell of a lot of um them pages it says you've got this then it's to-do list so you've got a to-do list and again yeah good old thickness of to-dos and then it says do what makes you smile what makes you smile? Watching me. So make sure you watch me, right? But no, do what makes you smile. That's right, though. You do what makes you smile. Then... What's that? That's a shoe. 
I don't, you damaged my floor. That's funny. Um, where's the karaoke? Can you just wait a minute, Dexter? Sure right, do what makes you happen. Happen? No, do what makes you smile, not makes you happen. Um, and then you've got a massive bundle of notes. And it's really, there's like loads. Got loads of them. And then you've got the pen. How good is that? So anybody wants one of these, and you're not just going to hang on and wait for the competition to see if you win or not, get yourself down to home bargains. That comes off of there, it peels off, it's just a sticker. So yeah, that's everything I've got in home bargains. So I'm going to go and put this safe and add it to the air fryer. And when I go shopping again, I'll pick up something else to add to it. So it should be a nice stash that you get. Right, Asda now. Dex is sitting there having a paddy. You'll have to wait then, won't you? All right, love. I think these are new. Do you know what? My mother gets annoyed. It says tickled pink because my mother had breast cancer and she said that really annoys her because she said, who's bloody tickled pink about cancer? Which is true, isn't it? But uh, she was saying to me today, that's not funny, that. Right, 107 calories a bag. I bought two of them because I know our family like prawn cocktails. They're not going to last very long. So I bought two of them. Look at this. Posh chocolate. Twinings. I didn't realise Twinings did um, hot chocolate. This is, per 100 grams, obviously the powder, is 389, or it's per serving, 173. So that per serving would be 20 grams of powder made with 200 mils of semi-skim milk. So yeah, that's not bad, 173 for a nice hot chocolate. So I've got that. I told my mother I'd make one tonight. And the reason I got that is because, can you get out of my handbag please, Dexter? Yeah. No, it's not, because I got this. And guess what I'm gonna have later? Yes, a hot chocolate. Do you want hot chocolate later? No, I'll tell you where the garage key is when I'm finished. Well, do you know where it is? I do know, yeah. Is it neutral? No, it's not. You're very cold, so stay away, love. You're very cold. Um, I got this and I'm looking forward to having a hot chocolate that looks something like this. It basically says, create perfectly frothed milk or luxury hot chocolate. It says, melt chocolate flakes with dairy or plant-based milk. And it said somewhere as well, where did I see it? Yeah, create hot or cold barista grade drinks at home. So I will be, uh, Getting that out later. Better get that in the cupboard and say to her, oh, that old thing, that's been here years, man. You won't mind. Right, what else did we get? Squirty cream to go on the hot chocolates. This is um, light squirty cream. 27 calories for 12.5 grams. I also fancied these. They had loads of tickled pink stuff on offer. These are raspberry and white chocolate. 146 calories for 40 grams. So I've got them. I got milk semi-skimmed for the hot chocolate. 100 ml, 46 calories. And you know, I do like to say that my food is banging. So obviously I had to get some banging chicken air fryer seasoning. Um, banging chicken seasoning, also great for ovens, so you don't have to use it in an air fryer. It's just a gimmick saying air fryer to make you buy it, isn't it? It's 298 calories for 100 it's grams, and there's 140. Yeah, I know. She's telling me we can see the tortoise. I know. I know, but she's moving. I know she's moving. 
Um, and then I just picked up this one as well, tomato sauce. It is 16 calories for 15 grams. So it's one extra calorie for the cheap one rather than the Heinz. That's everything I picked up. So I'm going to go and put this all away. And I thought you might like that if you make a coffee or that, Dexter. White there. Right, I'm going to go and put that away. Don't open it because you'll break the seal if you're not going to use it. It'll go off quicker. What is it? Kids. Now I've got to go and find the garage key for Dexter. Have a name. Mum, my coffee's already white. Yeah. Hmm? My coffee's already white. My teeth, I mean, are already white. white. How are your teeth already white? Because I put milk in them. Yeah, but you can, if we ever run out of milk and I can't be bothered to go to the shop, you can use that. But is it milk? Yes, yeah, a whitener. Like white powder. White powder. Yeah. Milk makes it more cold. <sighs> anyway. Oh, look at cooking. She's going along the window. Practically waving. But you know what? It's a bad move. Look how dirty that glass is already. I'm going to be cleaning it daily. I will show you cookie later. Um, But yeah, that's everything I picked up. And I'm going to try and have a day in tomorrow doing stuff. Right, I shall catch up with you a bit later on when I've got the sausages cooked. I've microwaved the potatoes and the beans. Easy peasy tea tonight. And I know Mackenzie's cooked sausages while I've been out. And he better not have had the ones that have got planned for tea tonight or there we were here. So, yeah, I will catch you for tea, dinner, whatever you want to call it. And it's now five o'clock, so I better get this put away before we're on. Warren has gone for a granddad nap, which is fine. <coughs> it's 20 to 8. So he's going to get up at 9 and I'm going to do our dinner at 9. I know that's late, but I'm hungry. I've got a rather randomly disgusting banana. It's actually quite hard, this banana. It's not um, soft or anything. It's just a bit battered looking, you know. You can get people that look a bit battered, but they're really nice people. And I think this banana is just something like that, you know, looks battered, but it's going to be really nice. So I'm going to go and put um, Mackenzie's uniform in the wash because he's in work tomorrow. Eat me banana. And then at Hopper State, get the sausages in. It's literally such a quick tea. That's why I don't mind doing it late. I've just got to cook the sausages and heat up the mash and the, and the beans. Dexter and Jackson have just had a hot chocolate in the velvetizer thing I bought. It's not a velvetizer, it's a chocolatier, salter one. Um, and I sent one down for my mum. Dexter took it down. The hot chocolate, that Twining's hot chocolate, smells absolutely friggin' delicious. Um, the kids have said that it's really nice. So, is it nice, Dexter? Mm -hmm. What should you score that hot chocolate then? No, he's playing his computer game. What score would you give that hot chocolate? Come on. What's that? A six? Seven? What's wrong with it? I thought it smelled delicious. It's not like... But it's really good because you put the... It's you obviously heat it up enough. a bit. You've got headphones on. You don't want it to be burning hot, do you? Not burning hot, but it was like it was like room temperature. But you don't want it to be boiling. It was like, and you had half a gallon of cream on top, which probably cooled it down. Anyway, it smelled really nice. I'm gonna have one after if I've got enough calories left. So yeah, see you in a bit, guys. This is my dinner. It's four hundred and thirty-three calories. So I've got two Edwards pork sausages, some Aunt Bessie's buttery mash, frozen, uh, some baked beans, which is zero, and some ketchup. But I'll put a breakdown on screen. But that is my dinner. So it's a bit later on now. It's five to midnight. I haven't had anything else to eat since my sausage mash and beans, which for something so simple is absolutely delicious. Um, I was going to have a hot chocolate, 
I made all the kids hot chocolate and my mother. Um, as I said earlier, when Dexter was on, um, they all said it was nice. I smelt the hot chocolate, the Twinings one. It smelt delicious. And after yesterday, going a bit mad, I thought, do you really need a hot chocolate, Kaza? Do you? No. So I'm coming in with 400 and this many, anyway, left, which I'm not going to use. So I'm not having a hot chocolate. Um, I'm actually going to go to bed. So I will film my tortoise in the morning because I've just put her to bed and turned her lights off. I'll show you her in the morning um, and then I will finish the video. Anyway, I'm going now and I will see you tomorrow where I'm staying in hopefully. So I've got 101 jobs to do around the house. So I'll be staying in. But you should see what I get up to. Oh, and I'm making tomorrow. I know what we're having for dinner already. Um. Oh, it was on Facebook and it's a chef. I can't remember his name, but he's bought a new cookbook out. Um. And it's a prawn. Um, it's basically a cookbook with like quick and easy meals, but it is prawn. Um, what is it? Prawn and chorizo pasta. But it looks divine. So it's raw prawns, chorizo. I've got the prawns. I need to get spaghetti, parmesan, creme fraiche, and chorizo. Um, which I'll nip down the shop tomorrow, but I'm reluctant to go out because Warren's new Ninja Cup is coming. And you watch, when I take Mackenzie to work and nip to the shop, that's when it'll come. Right, enough waffling on. I'm fed up now. I'm going to go and watch the end of my YouTube I've got on and then go to bed. Yes, go to bed. You watch. Video will start again the next day and I'll say, I didn't go to bed. But my Coke is still no, no longer in my life. I'm living without it. I'm not missing it, to be honest. I don't know why I'm not missing it this time when I only lasted a morning the other day because it's been nearly a week. Another two I think it was last Wednesday I stopped drinking it. Hmm. So yeah. That uh is all I'm drinking at the moment. It's just different flavoured squashes. Right. Bye guys and I'll uh catch up with you in the morning. So yeah, that is it and here is Cookie's new little house, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. So guys, this is Cookie's new house. But where is she? That's her by a uh, basking uh, thing that she loves to sit on, and then she is level on there so she can see yeah. out. It's a nice bath and water. There's water in there. That's her breakfast. Blueberries, banana, cucumber, fresh mint, cuttlefish, another platform. And then over there is her food. And that's her little house. But where is she? I've only just turned her lights back on this morning. And she actually asleep. Look in the corner. She's dug down and gone into the soil. So you can't see her little tootsies. So she wasn't even in her little house. 
So I'm going to leave her be. I'll try and do another video in tomorrow's one where you can see her awake. But yeah, that is her new house. I've got to hoover this out because there's some sand kicked in there and it makes that sound all scratchy, as you can hear. So I just need to hoover that out. There was handles that you can put on here, but I haven't bothered with them. But my friend is going to make me some wooden bits about that big to wedge in there so it's all airy. But there's plenty of those breathe holes on the back. She's getting plenty of air, don't worry. But yeah, that is her new house and it looks a lot better than a massive cage because this is my unit and it obviously matches in with that but yeah she's uh asleep for now so see you soon